your girlfriend And I'm wearing a lipstick Yes, I'm fucking your girlfriend And I'm wearing a lipstick I'm walking so I'm scared I'm the clothes that I wear They're so fucking good Cause I'm with my hands and nails But I'm fucking your girlfriend While she's playing my nails Yes, I'm fucking your girlfriend While she's playing my nails Yes, I'm fucking your girlfriend What's up, everybody? Fernando motherfucking Gato, we got another video blog. Welcome back. For those of you who are subscribed, thank you. And for those of you who just like, Alexa, put the volume at one. That's a girl that listens. Good fucking girl, good girl. <laughs> Finally, a woman that can listen, right? All right, what are we here to do? It's another video blog, another day today. What's today? January, January 18th, fuck. January 18th already, 2021. It seems as if each and every day is another, it's a whole world, really. In my life, and my life is public. If you don't follow me on Instagram, if you're new to me or if you're new to my channel, check out my Instagram, the Fernando Caro, C-A-R-O, the Fernando Caro, it's my name. And each and every day, I check the fucking. I show my process, or pieces of it, to the world publicly about what I'm doing, my life. I've made my social media channel about a biography of my life, an autobiography. Each and every day is another episode in this channel of Fernando Caro's life, right? And in this series of my life, I'm an IMC, shape-shifting, urban warrior monk. And each and every day, I, get, I bring you guys along on my journey. From the wake-ups, you see my bed, this is my bed. Fuck yeah, I love my bed. Now this particular thing is, it's a pancho from Mexico. It's an Aztec. If you guys don't know, my ancestors are the Aztecs, and many more. Right. But in this life, I'm a Mexican descent, so this is... This is my magic, like Aladdin, right? Aladdin had his magic quilt, and Aladdin got all the hoes. They just show you Jasmine, but they didn't show you Crystal, they didn't show you Alexandra, they didn't show you Sophia, they didn't show you all those other hoes that he was fucking with. They just showed you Princess Jasmine. See, but he picked up Princess Jasmine, Jasmine on a fucking quilt, or on a fucking whatever this thing is, right? On his magic rug. Well, this is my magic rug, all right? Fuck it, if I'm gonna be a movie story, that's gonna be my movie story. This is my, my fucking magic carpet. It's my bed, and wherever I go is home. Look at that. This floor right here, this fucking floor. And part of being an IMC warrior monk is challenging your character, challenging your way of life. Look around you. What are you doing in your everyday basis? Motherfucker, you're too comfortable. I know you're too comfortable because I was too comfortable, and I saw the residue of effects that that comfort led me, and it was a piece of shit life with zero discipline, constant doubt, constant restriction. Restriction of what? Restriction of what's possible within me. Now look at your life. What the fuck are you doing? If you're just sitting on your ass all day and not designing a life that you can create off of your own mind and decisions to say, hey, I decide to sleep on the floor. Why? Because I love the fucking floor. And each and every day, I get to discipline my character by doing so. It's a bigger process. It's a spiritual practice. Now, I noticed that sleeping on a bed was too comfortable, man. It's too fucking comfortable. There were days where I couldn't even get up because I was just, oh, man. Fucking put 15 more minutes on that alarm and let me sleep in a little longer. Man, fuck that guy. I was so sick of that guy. I was fucking disgusted with that guy. Zero integrity to his word to say, hey, get up early so that you can begin to work on your character. It's something that we all want and we have it as a goal somewhere in the future. Yeah, maybe one day I'll get up and start doing what I say I'm gonna do, looking the way I look. We say that shit as if it's somewhere else. Motherfucker, it's here in this moment. It's the decision. So look at your life. Look at the decisions you're making, okay? I can only speak for myself. And I've followed the IMC philosophy. Shout out to my teacher, AZ motherfucking D. Araj Zapar D. Bazaar, okay? For designing and sharing a process which we call the beast. 
the beast is the is the is the label is the symbol of a way of life that's full of look we don't measure shit in IMC, we don't measure your heart, we don't measure, we don't measure your heart. We don't measure money, we don't measure what you call, what car you drive, the job you have. We don't measure none of that shit. What we measure is your fucking heart. How much heart do you got, motherfucker? How much heart do you got? How much passion and discipline and integrity to your fucking word? How ethical are you? We measure your heart. How far are you willing to go? You see, most people, they start some shit. I know for certain in the real estate industry. I've been in the real estate industry for four years. Every year, it wasn't even a year, people would just cycle out, in and out of the business, in and out of the business. Zero heart, zero discipline. And fuck, I was 19 years old when I joined this business. I didn't know shit, I didn't know anybody that showed me the ropes, right? So I learned through fucking hard trials, man. Days of no money, days of no closings, but see, all of that was Developing the character that I am now, right? Because I was willing to work for my passions and design a life and not slave away doing some shit I didn't like. I saw a future version of me that I wanted to be. And I recognize in this life, I recognize in this life that if I want anything, if I want anything in this life, I first gotta become the beacon, the beacon of that light, the beacon, that example of who I want to be right now. With the decisions you make each and every moment right now, the decisions you're making every day, I guarantee you, I fucking promise you that you'll create the future version of you. But now that depends on your habits, the decisions you make, your internal thought process, the triggers inside. But this is an everyday process, it's an everyday practice, is to look at your own character what don't you like about this fucking guy? What the fuck do you gotta do to change this character? What's stopping you from being the best version of you that you know you can be? Because I know there's a fucking voice inside of you that talks shit all day. It talks shit, it's your biggest motherfucking hater. <laughs> when you sleep in, that motherfucker's jawing at you. Anytime you're trying to do some shit, this motherfucker's fucking you up and it's your self-conscious, it's your own self-guilt. And the only way, the only fucking way I've ever was able to combat this guy was that no matter how I felt, I was gonna stay true to my word. I was gonna stay true to my practice, my process, whatever it is. Now, in your life, you can have any, pra any practice. Today, start today. What are you gonna start? Well, start waking up early. That's it. Start waking up early. No more lazy, fat fuck shit. No more of that shit. No more sleeping in, being lazy, not showing up to life, getting excited. How can you not be fucking excited for another day of life? You got another fucking moment of experiences to create, but yet you choose to sleep them away for some more rest? It doesn't make any sense. How much longer are you gonna hold yourself back from living and being exactly who you say you're going to be. It's no more a saying. Your, your actions will fucking speak for you. Actions speak louder than words, motherfucker. That's for sure. That's for sure. You're having internal conversations about what you're going to do. No, 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 no. Go out and do it. Don't talk to yourself. That's fucking weird. Go do it. Start doing the shit you're saying. Start looking the way you want to look. Start speaking and conducting yourself in a way that you're proud of, motherfucker. Where's your pride? We see a bunch of idiots entitled with an opinion. Entitled with a fucking opinion. You're afraid of people's opinions who haven't even taken the time to look inside. Oh, I get it. Most people run from looking inside. There's some skeletons in their closet. You haven't faced the fucking fears of what's going on in here. You've been running from it all your life. And I guarantee you, Every time you buy something, that little elation and sense of dopamine that you get for a bit will fade. And then you'll be craving the next thing and the next thing and the next thing just to escape the fears that you have inside about you. Well, how about this? Take a look at your demons, motherfucker. And face that shit. Lock horns with nature. Lock horns with that shit you're afraid of. Because that's the only way. That's the only way. You'll tap into your eternal happiness. That's the only way 
you'll find success is by finally, finally expressing that shit that burns inside of you. You can see people's uh, pain in their faces. You can see people's lies and deception. Man, you can see it on their fucking faces. So you start with, let's tie this all back together. I've just been ranting almost, right? <laughs> but really though, how the fuck are you gonna get better if you don't get smacked in the face? Cause if it isn't you smacking yourself in the face, the life's gonna bring you some heavy shit. And are you prepared? Are you fucking prepared for all this shit life's gonna grant you? Well, motherfucker, let's go. Every day is your training. The warrior prepares for war at a time of peace. Now, right now, your life is probably, oh, I'm just trying to balance. You know, I'm just trying to feel good. I'm just trying to do this, be soft here, not be, be okay here, be positive. Everybody just breathe in. Man, shut up, dude. Life's gonna smack you right in the fucking face if you don't wake up and start taking responsibility Response. It's a responding to life right now in present time. How you respond dictates the results you get. The way you conduct yourself gives you the product. Conduct, product, cause, effect. Everything you do has an effect, but it begins with how you create it. So we start with ourselves. My character, you see it on display. I wake up, take cold showers. I make this shit so hard. I make it so hard on me because I know I want to fucking milk the potential of what's inside of me. And that's what gets me the fuck up. That's what gets me up at 3 a.m. every day. And also having a community of people who share the same passions and values as you do. See, the problem is, is you're around a bunch of fucking retards. You're around people that don't value you. Around people who constantly violate you with their communication. They invalidate your passions and full desires. And you'll know that shit to be true the minute you start improving in your life. Because the minute you start improving, people will start to judge you, hate you, and start saying weird shit like, Why are you doing that, man? Why are you doing that? Only to be afraid that you might be better than them. I guarantee it. There's a lot of jealous, envious people around you. And you must confront that shit. You must confront that shit. Because if there's any judgment outside of your own, if there's any judgment outside of your own, you're holding yourself back. You're holding yourself back. Behind what? Back of who you fucking want to be. Back of who you want to be. And no more, no more are we gonna be a slave of the judgments of others. No more are we gonna be our own fucking self-slave. Fuck no. Because I know in nature, in nature's code, you can't fool me. A lion doesn't question a lion. A lion doesn't wake up the next day and say, man, man, I don't feel like hunting today. You know, I, I think I'm gonna try a, a vegan diet, right? I saw it on Netflix. Or I'm gonna pick up a book and, you know, see how I can become more beast and learn how to hunt, do this hunting game because these guys are kind of aggressive. You don't fucking hear a lion doing that shit. A lion knows it's a lion. So who the fuck are you? There's something inside of you already. Tap in and wake up because you've been repressed by all the bullshit outside. You've been re repressed your whole life. No more. I am not gonna die with my fucking voice inside. So each and every day, make it your purpose, make it your fucking passion, your responsibility to life to show up and be the best version of yourself. No more holding yourself back because you are your biggest fucking enemy. And until you realize that, you're a slave to everybody because you give a fuck what they think. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Like, subscribe, and shit. I'm not here trying to motivate you guys. I'm just talking about my life. And the thoughts and ideas that come to mind and like anything, the thoughts and ideas that pass along. But that's it for this one. Follow me on Instagram or don't. I don't give a shit. The Fernando Caro at, no, I'm not Fernando Caro. I'm giving you my email. The Fernando Caro on Instagram. And then like and subscribe on YouTube. We're going to have more video vlogs. Get in the vibe. It's all about vibes, man. Let's keep talking. There's so much to talk about. So much. And I can do this shit every fucking day, all day, because this is my life. And I love talking about my life. And I love talking about what we got going on here. And it's really inspiring to see all of uh, people be up through my words and through my passion. And that shit excites me. So, all right, see you guys. Follow me on Instagram. Let's connect.